What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday. And today we are going to do a versus of the Takara versus the X Trans Bots Ultra Magnus. We knew this was coming. I said this was coming. It should be no surprise that it has come, so to speak. Real quick, just to get this out of the way, I predict it's going to be a bloodbath, but we'll have to wait and see. Secondly, a little bit of housekeeping. For whatever reason, I must have made an editing error. There's a whole section of footage that I did for the X Trans Bots about the gimmicks and such. I'll tack it on to the end of the video here if I can find it. I don't know why it got got missed or cut out or whatever, but that's an error. That's on me. There's there's gimmicks that this that, that figure comes with, and for some reason it, it made the cutting room floor, as it were. So I apologize for that. The only other thing, today is the last day to order the blankets of Soundwave and the tapes. You have to get in contact with me by the close of business tonight at midnight to order. I may have some extras left when it's all said and done, but no promises. The woven, I shipped out all that I have. I have a few more coming for additional orders that'll be shipped out soon. The Sherpa, one shipment came in. It was wrong. I'll show you what it looks like. Laserbeak's head got cut off. They have been fixed. They are going to get shipped to me again. They're supposed to get here to me between the 12th and the 14th. I will get them out within 24 hours of them arriving in hopes that they make it to you by Christmas. To contact me, all you have to do is email bobbyskullface at gmail.com. That's also where you can inquire about size, price, etc, etc. I never promised I could get it to you by Christmas to begin with in the beginning, to be fair, but I've tried extra hard and most of them I'm going to be able to fulfill. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to fulfill all, but I will probably I promise you I will give my, my 100% efforts. But they look great. They came out fantastic. Today is the last day to order. Please get in touch with me. I hate telling people no after the fact. Also, if you want to join the Patreon today, today is the last day to make custom orders for whatever you want. We're going to have more discussion on Patreon soon. We're also going to have a new collection tour video soon. we got a couple exciting things to look at before the end of the year. And with that being said, I think we can move on. Let's go ahead and get started. I don't think there's a whole lot else to talk about. Let's see if it's a, it's a, if it's a whole bloodbath. I got a feeling it's going to be a bloodbath. But whatever, we'll see. Sometimes I've been surprised. Let's go. And we'll start with accessories and gimmicks. The Dakara comes with a gun, so does the X Transbots. The Dakara comes with a pair of swap out hands and one extra face. X Transbots comes with a slew of extra faces. Dakara comes with two human figures. X Transbots comes with one, if memory serves anyway. It's been a while since I've looked at the Dakara. And gimmicks wise, they both have the Matrix element. The Dakara has the firing missiles, but the X Transbots has the electronics, both lights and sounds. And technically, the Dakara's hands to hold the matrix is really a gimmick but i think what i'm gonna do here is tie them out for gimmicks and give the accessories to x trans bots because even the human sitting in the vehicle is kind of a gimmick it gets a little there's a lot of gray areas here on how you kind of view these in that regard so i'm gonna tie them for gimmicks i'm gonna give accessories to x trans bots moving on to build and materials they're both built well they both use good materials it's one of the advantages of looking at companies like these that have kind of really fine-tuned what they do so i'm gonna tie them out for both of those Hardware, they both have ratchets in the elbows. They both have ratchets in the shoulders. x trans uses soft ratchets, but I think it still gets credit. They both have ratchets in the hips. They both have ratchets in the knees. So I'm tying them out for hardware as well. Moving on to sculpt and paint. So we'll start with the frontal view, so to speak. And here's what I'm going to say. The x trans is trying to be a literal tune translation. The Takara is not. Since x trans will win the point for accuracy, I'm tying them out for the frontal presentation, so to speak. But paint is going to go to x trans because it's fully painted, whereas Takara is not. And that's how we're going to kind of look at that. Proportions wise, I think the Takara does it better. If you see where the hands end up and stuff. But I think overall, we'll tie them for the frontal view. But we're going to give x Transbots the point on paint. Head sculpt wise, it's tricky. So I kind of like the way that Takara did the proportions of the face better. But I like the proportions of the head better on x Transbots. I think the Takara head is a little too wide. But I think the face is more kind of dialed in. Where the x Transbots looks a little too simple in the face for me, but I think the head kind of gets it more right. So I'm going to tie them there from the front. From the side, I mean, tied game. They're almost identical, really. Nothing really to sort of write home about there. Chest-wise, abdomen-wise, I'm going to tie them out. And I'll tell you why. I don't like the translucent windows on the MP. I also don't like the fold-up ridges, how predominant they are on the MP. But I do like the extra sculpted details of, like, the circles sort of towards the center of the chest, the little extra cut-out sort of square rectangle piece at the abdomen with the ridges in it extra detail work in the blue stripe that goes down the chest like i just think there's more sculpted detail in it the paint goes to x transbots but because the x transbots is so put together so clean and so sharp without the kind of predominant hinges or the translucent plastic which i don't care for i'm tying them out from the side that the car kind of throws it away with the whole cab bit like they never
never quite figured it out right, and the side view is no exemption to that rule. So the chest, abdomen, torso area is going to go to X Transpots. The arms is where I think Takara takes the cake. Tons of extra sculpted detail in the shoulder, even in the pauldrons on his shoulder, even in the bicep, even in the elbow joint, and then they're similar in the forearm. But I think there's just more love in the Takara. Side view, once again, I think Takara kills it. Just tons of extra sculpted detail and interesting stuff. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about with the tune look, right? The overall shape is still tune accurate with the Takara, but they put in the extra love. The little like vents and panels and everything, it just makes it look a bit more sophisticated without changing the physical attributes that are true to the kind of cartoon representation. That's what I'm always talking about. Even the extra details in the hand and stuff. Look, I'm done. It's Takara for the arms. Moving on to the pelvis from the front. There's a little bit of extra sculpted detail with the Takara, but not enough here to kind of give it the point over the x Transbots. The x Transbots has enough sculpted detail in a given space to kind of make it match equally. So I'm going to tie them out here. On the legs, I like the thigh work better on Takara. More sculpted detail, more interesting visuals. But the lower legs, even though there's technically more sculpted detail in the Takara, I do think that it's minimal enough where the x Transbots still holds its own in that space. So I'm going to tie out the frontal view of the lower legs and give the thighs to Takara. From the side, I think the thighs are tied, which gives it to Takara. I think I have to tie it out here. And I'll tell you why. I think the sculpted detail on the Takara is infinitely better. However, the proportions of it are too wide and it throws the look of it off for me. So even though I like the sculpted detail, kind of the palette that it's working with, I don't think is as well done as the X-Transbots. So as a result, one wins the proportions, one wins the sculpt, and they tie out. It's the only way I can think to kind of do it fairly. From the back, it's X-Transbots all day long. All day long, all day strong. The Takara has never looked finished or complete from the back ever, not once. And uh, this remains no different. So x Transbots takes it. So in the sculpt and paint arena, they get really close, but x Transbots does edge them out. And I do think that is a fair representation of these two figures. So they tie at the head, they tie in the lower legs, and they tie from kind of a frontal view, which I think is also lending itself to a fair representation. Takara takes the arms and the thighs, x Transbots takes the torso, the hips, in the back. And to be fair, a lot of X Transbots wins here are kind of from side views or back views. And I think that's fair, like surprisingly so. I think they deserve the win for Sculpt, but I think it's a stylization choice. And what isn't stylized is marginal because the proportions are pretty close for both. And the sort of general sort of silhouette is relatively close for both. When you start looking at the, you know, the minutia of it all, then it really starts to make sense where the X Transbots takes that tune look. But I think that this is fair. X Transbots deserves it, but not by a landslide and not from like sort of just a full frontal view, so to speak. And then obviously X Transbots takes the paint because they just they they slaughter them there. Moving on to articulation. The head is on a hinge swivel, limited up, limited down. You pretty much just get the swivel. Takara uses the same engineering, but you get much more up, much more down and the swivel. X Transbots has a universal joint for all intents and purposes. It's like an L shaped universal joint, but it's the same for the shoulders. Along with that, it has a separate hinge for the bicep that can get the arm out to 90 degrees, which is clever and doesn't break up the sculpt. Then we have the 360 around. The Takara has this whole bit of business here, which does get you a butterfly joint, but it does not get you up really anything significant at all, but it does get you the swivel. Unfortunately, I had to tie them out here because you do get this outward movement and forward movement of the butterfly. Bicep swivel, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow that gets you past 90 degrees. Single jointed elbow that gets you shy at 90 degrees. Wrist swivel and hinge out with the fingers individually articulated on multiple hinges throughout. Wrist swivel, fingers on a base pin knuckle. Uh, yeah. Waist swivel. Ab crunch forward and technically even an ab crunch back. Oh, hell. NASA. Universal joint for the hips. Get you the leg all the way out to the side, all the way forward, and even the butt flap will get out of the way and get all the way back. Universal for hips. Get you out to there, out forward to there, back to there. So limit it all the way around in comparison. Double jointed knee for the full run. Single hinge knee less than 90 degrees. Ankle tilt up and a rocker. Slight rocker. 
So articulation wise, it's a slaughterhouse. The car takes the head, and I'm not exactly sure why, because they use the same engineering. So X Transmos probably could have done that better, to be fair. But they did plenty else better. They got better wrist movement because you have the outward movement of the wrist. The hands are more articulated. The torso gets you an ab crunch, let alone a waist swivel. It also has fully articulated hips, fully articulated knees, fully articulated ankles. Well, that's not true, but you get at least an ankle tilt up in a rocker. And it has a better range at the elbow. They tie at the shoulders because they do different things better they tie at the bicep and thigh swivel so not Takara's best day so scale it's tricky and I don't have a Takara bot to kind of add to it so fans toys doesn't necessarily have a dog in this fight so I thought it would be a pretty fair comparison the fans toys blur should come up to about the elbow slash bicep slash upper abdomen of ultra magnus and even though the difference is marginal I think X trans bots is technically closer it's by a nose but if it was articulated and it was by a nose, we would give them the point, right? So we have to keep that same energy. I'm giving scale to X Transbots. Moving on to transformation, I don't think there's going to be any surprises here. The Takara was a little clunky and clumsy and had that parts forming element, which didn't bother me, but you know, I know how people feel about it. But it was a Takara transformation. It did have this sort of professionalism and mastery of the craft that Takara often does in that space. The X Transbots is a nightmare. And I'm not talking about the complexity, I'm talking about the frustration of things having to be a certain way within that complexity. See, I'm okay with a complex transformation as long as the complex transformation is at least a matter of sort of doing a number of steps in order to pull off something and not a matter of making sure that a hinge sits somewhere special while this hinge sits somewhere special when they don't, neither one of them have a locked in place to be throughout. You kind of got to float on a wish and a prayer and it has a lot of those spaces throughout. It's just not as smooth a transformation, but it also does a lot more. But in the end, I have to give it to Takara. In regard to the alt mode, I think that they both look good. I think that the car cab and sort of function is better, but I do like the extra like ramp details and such that the car kind of skips over with the X trans bots. So I think they do a number of things differently correct. And if you kind of Frankenstein them together, you'd have the perfect one, but that ultimately is going to get you a tie. Of course, your accuracy, this is a no brainer, right? Like the X trans bots really nailed it. It's what they were going for. It wasn't really the intention of the Takara, but in spite of that, it is a category. The category holds weight and that weight goes to X-Transbots, I think, without contest. As far as price, it's tricky because initially the Ultra Magnus sat at a higher price point from Takara. Initially it was at 279, but then they dropped it down to 190 initially for the first release, but then they bumped it back up to 279 for additional releases. This is a tricky one. The X Trans Bots is sitting firmly at 225, and I just feel like you have to give them credit for that because I think that they cut a break to people in the beginning to the 189. But if you want to get technical, factor in inflation factor in time like there's all different ways to look at it but I think the most fair way is to look at the most recent offering of it at its price point which was to the best of my research 279 compared to the most recent offering of the X trans bots which once again was 225 giving X trans bots the price point point which one do you think looks better this one all right and which one do you think feels better the same one, one. Yeah. okay all right thank you which one do you think looks the best I look like the same. I'm not gonna lie. I guess this one, they look like the same. And then. The other one feels better. Alright. Which one do you think looks better? That one. Okay. This one's like a turtle. He's like in there. <laughs> this one's like a turtle. <laughs> uh, which one do you think felt better? That one. Okay. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> which, <Love these. laughs> which one do you think looks better? That one. This one? Yes. And which one do you think feels better? The other one. Okay. All right. Which brings us to our final score. And this is probably the most significant sort of tail whipping that we've ever seen, I think. So Takara takes the transformation because that's the biggest lack on behalf of the X trans bots. However, they tie it gimmicks, build materials and hardware as well as alt mode. But X trans bots gets them at accessories, articulation, sculpt, paint, scale, presence, price and accuracy. And that's an awful lot of important points. But to be fair, Takara are tied in some important categories as well, right? So those are all things to consider. But it does bring us to a final score of 8-1 X-Trans bots. I think I, I haven't gone back and looked at it, and I won't. I promise you I won't go back and look because I don't have the time. But I think that's the most brutal win that we've ever seen in a versus. I think.
So, yep, pretty much went exactly as I foresaw. There you have it. I got a couple things. Uh, it's getting uh, to be a bit crutch time for me because um, some dynamics are going to change with my channel come the first of the year. And I have a number of discussions that I want to have before then, but I'm just not sure how it's going to shape out. I think next week will be the third party awards for the year, our annual third party awards. Uh, but it may be the week after. I still want to have this tune aesthetic talk. There's a couple things I want to do. We'll just see if we have the time. We may not. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Gimmicks wise, there is a light up feature for his eyes. You also get uh, translucent lenses for that. In addition to that, there's also audio electronics as well. Uh, I never had the kind of bad. Like, I, shout out to the other reviewers that keep like them little circle things on deck. Like, it's just, it's just not, it's just not me, man. I'm just never gonna be that guy. I respect it. I respect it, but it's just I'm never gonna be that guy. A little bag, a little circle, batteries. Get out of here. In addition to that, there also is a matrix, and I I do dig that it is done the same way that it is in the cartoon where like this piece lifts up and these doors come open. Not like I'm getting meeting a little bit of tension here with this piece, so I don't want to stress it out too much. But inside here is the matrix and uh, it's fully painted, uh, chrome detailings around the side and gold paint there and then the kind of light blue gem and uh you know and then you can put it back in and none the worse for wear so uh i don't know if you know what the future is going to be with ultra magnus toys and the sort of commitment to the matrix but uh it seems like they went that step here and i think it's a i think it's nicely done